Couple, let me just jump on Commissioner um, O'Connor's statements on the vaccines. He's right. And I think all the members of our commissioner board are correct. And Dr. Brewster, just, she's just doing one hell of a great job out there. But you're basically in a boxing match with one hand tied behind your back at the will of whatever Annapolis decides to give you at any one particular time. And Commissioner O'Connor, I haven't discussed this. I'm glad he went up to the uh, deputy director of health and said, you know, what you're doing, you, you don't have, it's making no sense. So I just want to continue to tell the p people out there, we're doing the best we can. Dr. Bruce is doing the best she can. If you've got a problem, it's that 475-4200 extension 1049 number to help get us through. Um, as both the other commissioners mentioned, the budget's coming up. Guys, this is round number 11. I got 11 and 12 and it's it. But it's gonna be complicated. And it's complicated not just because of everyone's wish lists coming in. And believe me, the wish list is bigger than, as I said, there's no more leaves on the tree out there to grab right now. And it's gonna be very complicated how we work through this and figure it out to provide allocations for everybody and I hope to tell you everyone's dreams and expectations probably aren't going to get met. But at the same time, Commissioner Guy and I are spending an incredible amount of time this year with Annapolis and through Mako. And the, I mean, last night, you know, our three hour meeting got canceled because there's just so many bills. So I'm sure tomorrow morning when we start at what, 930, we're going to be going until 1230 or one going through all these bills. But there's cause and effect. And for actions are consequences. And the actions that are taken in Annapolis are the consequences on us. So we go back to the budget and our concern is what are the actions, what are the consequences? We face the consequences. The actions are taken, it's you know, a lot of stuff sight unseen, just as the testimony this afternoon will be given. Um, you know, get one person to sit there, there's your Zoom, there's your box, and there's what you got to live with. So we're working this really hard, but our concern at the end of the day is you citizens, what you're asking for, what's required, and what can we feasibly do to make sure that it works for everybody. So that's where we are there. On some lighter notes, we talked about the farmer's market. February 13th, fly in farmer's market out the airport again, sponsored by Soderly and our other retailers. It's a lot of fun. It's not like going down to the Red Barn, which is Saturday mornings, nine, or it's 10 to one now at the Red Barn by gate three. The fly in farmer's market is out the airport on the February 13th, which I think makes what, Saturday too? Mm -hmm. So you got two farmer's markets to choose from, sports fans. So if you want to patronize our local um, farmers and things like that, great place to go. Um, Snow. I'm from Buffalo. I like the snow, okay? Three inches, this little dribble we're getting down here. I know it causes a lot of heartache and pain and nobody here likes snow, but you know, I really don't think it's going to snow, okay? I, I listen to this aside, Dr. Brewster or Dr. Bridge and I laugh a little every once in a while about the snow. So, you know, I'm betting on three to four inches max. Other people can bet on more, but you know, let it snow, <laughs> let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> and finally, it's Valentine's Day coming up on Sunday. So I want to wish all the ladies out there happy Valentine's, especially my daughters, my girlfriend, happy Valentine's Day. If it snows, I don't get to see you. If it doesn't snow, I look forward to seeing at least some of you. <laughs> With that, thanks and have a great time. And we'll see you again in two weeks.